Right, things are relatively quiet right now across Connecticut. We've seen a bit of an increase in cloudiness and some sprinkles passing by to the east of Hartford, drifting uh, from north to south. So uh, nothing too impactful. They'll be long gone by the uh, morning commute. We could wake up to some patchy fog in some locations. Temperatures here in the 11 o'clock hour range from 61 in Groton, Chester and Norwich to as warm as 70 currently at Windsor Locks. Certainly down, though, compared to where we were at this point last night. Great visibility for the time being from atop Hartford. 21 in our capital city, 68, and overlooking the green in the Elm City of New Haven, south wind at 7 miles an hour, otherwise 64. Visibility statewide still unlimited, but that could change a little bit with some patchy fog developing as we head through the overnight hours. Your first alert to perhaps a little reduction in visibility in, in a few spots uh, to start the day tomorrow. Uh, region wide, you can see cloud cover working across southern New England. A couple of spotty sprinkles out there this evening. Nothing again that's going to have an impact on overnight night or early morning plans tomorrow. Looking at the big picture, high pressure offshore is going to sink farther south where that's going to allow eventually the storm system off to our west to work in our direction. So overnight tonight, forecasting temperatures to only drop into the upper 50s and low 60s. So uh, certainly mild, but not quite as mild as the past couple of nights. And by tomorrow afternoon, any of that morning fog or low cloudiness burns off, giving way to a mostly sunny sky that will help to boost temperatures well into the mid 80s inland and from 71 in Groton to 76 in around New Haven. So the greater Hartford area, 85, 86 degrees, certainly uh, on tap tomorrow afternoon. As we head tomorrow night, we're going to be watching a boundary that's currently become stationary to our southwest, eventually head up in our direction as a warm front. So with that, an increasing chance for some wet weather uh, for the Thursday morning commute, perhaps even some rumbles of thunder. After that initial wave of rain, we've got the cold front that's going to be approaching and moving into southern New England by Thursday evening. That will bring us our second round of rain and potentially thunderstorms. Of course, the WFSB weather app, a great resource to track anything that develops with the interactive radar as it makes its way across Connecticut. So from the rounds of rain combined, we could see a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain. Not overly concerned at this point with any sort of flooding concerns. If you've been watching over the past couple of days, parts of Connecticut have been in the excessive rain outlook. That is no longer the case. So some good news there. Certainly a nice drink of water for uh, yards and gardens. It will also help to cleanse the air of the pollen. You perhaps have seen the pollen on our vehicles and elsewhere. So uh, Mother Nature will do its thing to help cleanse the air a little bit. Uh, humidity levels with that warm front before the cold front moves through, briefly reaching oppressive levels on Thursday then behind that front trending less humid as we close out the week on Friday. So with the rounds of rain on Thursday, high temperatures likely held into the 70s between 75 and 80 on Friday. Friday partly to mostly sunny. Some lingering instability with the daytime heating could lead to some isolated showers popping up during the afternoon hours. Same goes for Saturday, but otherwise primarily dry. A blend of sun and clouds, highs in the upper 70s. A little bit cloudier, a little bit cooler with perhaps a little bit better chance for some showers on Sunday, but not a washout by any means. Overnight lows this weekend in the 50s. 75 our shoreline high for Saturday, 73 on Sunday. By Monday, sun and clouds close to 80 with another chance for showers by Tuesday of next week.